Getting rid of debt can be tough, but it's totally worth it. Debt not only messes with your peace of mind, but can also mess up your savings and future plans. The good news is, there are simple strategies to help you quickly tackle your debt and get your finances back on track. Welcome back to Finance Homefront with me, Bev. Today, I'll share three of the most common ways to handle your debt. Just stay with me. And by the end of the video, I'll reveal a method that not only works, but also makes you feel like you're winning with your money. So let's dive in. The most common type of debt is unsecured debt, like overdrafts, payday loans, personal loans, and credit cards. Speaking of credit cards, Forbes Advisor's credit card rates report says the average interest rate is a whopping 27.79%. Unsecured debt usually has high interest because it's not backed by any security, making it riskier for the lender. If you miss payments, your credit score can take a hit, and you might end up facing insolvency or bankruptcy. Some suggest paying only the interest on credit cards or student loans, but that's like running on a hamster wheel. You're not really making progress on the actual debt. You're just giving money to the loan company without reducing the main amount. It's tough to break free from that cycle and make real headway in paying off your debt. The best way to tackle your debt is to pay it off quickly, because that interest keeps piling up and it can really come back to bite you. First most common method people consider is debt consolidation, where you combine all your debts into one payment. It seems good because you might get a lower interest rate, and it's all in one place. But beware the interest rate could go up, and it might take longer to pay off. Some consolidation rates are between 6 and 36 percent, and the total time to clear your debt extends. While consolidating debt can be helpful in paying it off, it doesn't ensure you won't fall into debt again. If you have a history of overspending, there's a risk of repeating the cycle once you're debt-free. To avoid this, create a realistic budget and stick to it. Additionally, start building an emergency fund to cover unexpected expenses, reducing reliance on credit cards. Consolidation addresses the current debt but doesn't eliminate the root habits and behaviors. To prevent accumulating more debt, it's crucial to establish a foundation for a healthy financial future. This involves not only managing current debts, but also adopting responsible financial practices to avoid falling into the same patterns in the future. I hope you're enjoying the insight so far. If you're finding these tips valuable, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more helpful content. And hey, ring that notification bell to stay updated with all the latest insights. Your support means a lot, and it keeps the good stuff coming your way. So go ahead, show some love, and let's keep this knowledge exchange going strong. The second common method is the debt avalanche where you pay off the debt with the highest interest first. It makes sense mathematically, but it can be tough mentally, like facing the best team in the league right away. Debt Avalanche focuses on interest rates, not balances. This means the debt with the highest interest gets priority, not necessarily the one with the highest balance. It can be disheartening feeling like you're not making much progress when only minimum payments go to the biggest debt. Sticking to the debt avalanche method demands consistency, and that can be tough. Even with the best intentions, you might end up making minimum payments on all debts, especially if your financial situation changes. That's why many financial experts suggest building a six-month emergency fund first before diving into any speedy debt payoff plan. This helps ensure you have a financial cushion before tackling your debts. Now let's talk about the third debt payment method, the debt snowball, which in my opinion is the best among the three. Here's how it works. First, list your debts from smallest to largest, ignoring interest rates. Then make minimum payments on all except the smallest debt. Throw every extra bit of cash at that smallest debt until it's gone. Once it's dusted off, take the money you were putting there and add it to the next smallest debts payment. 
Keep repeating this snowball effect until you clear all your debts. Becoming debt free. It works like a charm because with each debt gone, you have more money to tackle the next one. Just like a snowball getting bigger as it rolls. The thrill of paying off that smallest debt quickly keeps you pumped to plow through the rest. The magic of the debt snowball lies in changing your behavior, not in complicated math. You don't need a finance degree. It's 80% about behavior and only 20% at knowledge. Those quick wins boost your confidence and belief that you can truly kick debt to the curb. As you triumph over the smallest debt fast, it's gone forever. The next debts follow suit, and soon you're smashing your last debts with a giant snowball payment instead of tiny minimum payments. When you witness the debt snowball actually working, you're more likely to stick with it. And before you know it, you'll be shouting, I'm debt free. Living with debt can be incredibly stressful, and finding a way to break free from it often feels like an overwhelming challenge. This is where the debt snowball strategy steps in as a simple yet highly effective method for paying off debt. The beauty of the debt snowball lies in its emphasis on ease of use and providing a peace of mind, prioritizing these aspects over minimizing the total interest paid. The debt snowball approach is like a financial lifeline, especially for those who find more complex debt repayment plans daunting and overwhelming. The main philosophy here is that the ultimate goal is to break free from debt, and the debt snowball's simplicity and psychological reinforcement can be a game changer for those feeling bogged down by their financial situation. While other repayment plans might focus on minimizing the total interest paid, the debt snowball recognizes the importance of making the journey manageable and mentally empowering. The sense of accomplishment you gain from paying off the smallest debt quickly becomes a motivating force, driving you to continue tackling the larger debts with increased confidence. In the end, the debt snowball strategy is about more than just financial calculations. It's about changing your behavior and mindset to pave the way for a debt-free future. Consistency is key if you want to see real results from your efforts, and remembering the discipline learned in school is essential for financial success. To achieve monetary benefits and true financial freedom, maintaining financial discipline is key. Taking accountability for actions prevents repeating mistakes, urging mindfulness in spending, and encouraging savings for future investments or policies. Alright guys, that wraps up our journey on achieving financial freedom in 2024 and breaking free from the chains of debt. Remember, these strategies are meant to provide guidance, but they're not one-size-fits-all solutions. Each financial journey is unique. Before making any significant financial decisions, it's important to do your own research or better yet, consult with a financial professional who can tailor advice to your specific situation. Your financial well-being deserves personalized attention, so take the next steps wisely. How's your journey to financial freedom going? Are you making progress in paying off your debts? Or are you facing challenges along the way? Share your successes, your struggles, or any questions you might have in the comments below. We're a community, and we're here to support each other on this financial journey. Your experiences might inspire someone else, and together, we can navigate the path to debt-free living. So drop a comment, and let's start a conversation about your financial goals and challenges. If you found our discussion helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay in the loop for more financial wisdom.